Rhone municipality announces trash cleaning dive after video clip goes viral. Divers collect 600 kilograms of trash on seafloor near Garone Beach. Five Western Ambassadors in meeting with Phuket Governor to discuss tourist well-being. Thirteen arrested in Phuket network that used Facebook to order Gatong. Two police on raised alert to look after tourist safety. Thai Hotels Association Southern President gives tourism reassurances. Thailand welcomed its 26 million tourists in 2015. Thailand Area 3 Naval Command Vice Commander received by counterpart on Indian ship. Twenty billion baht mixed-use development launched near airport. Jung Ceylon Thank You Press Party 2015. Police boast guns and drugs in crime sweep. Garon Municipality announces trash cleaning dive after video clip goes viral. Garonne Municipality are inviting all divers from the public and private sectors to volunteer seafloor cleanup after a viral video clip highlighted piles of garbage on the seafloor just offshore Lamsai Cape in Garonne. A 1 minute 9 second long video posted on a Facebook account that quickly went viral showed plastic and glass bottles, containers and packages piled up on the seafloor near popular properties in Garon's Mu 3. Local authorities, however, said that it is not likely that the garbage originated from Garon, since the surf there is pretty strong, and that it is more likely that the rubbish was carried from elsewhere, from other beaches, islands, fishermen, and passenger vessels. Nonetheless, the municipality is asking for volunteer divers from the public and private sectors to join together and clean the seafloor during a special dive on December 3rd, which will be carried out in honor of His Majesty the King's 88th birthday anniversary, which will be on December 5th. Divers collect 600 kilograms of trash on seafloor near Garone Beach. Divers collect 600 kilograms of trash on seafloor near Garone Beach. 25 divers joined in collecting human rubbish all along a 400 square meter perimeter on the seafloor near Garone Beach that was made public through a viral video clip recently. The divers collected more than 600 kilograms of plastic and other human-made solid waste. Authorities insist that rubbish most likely came from offshore and sank near Garonne. Nonetheless, a PR awareness campaign is promised and another volunteer dive activity will take place on December 3rd in honor of His Majesty the King. Five Western Ambassadors in meeting with Phuket Governor to discuss tourist well-being. Five Ambassadors met with Governor Jemren Tipiyapong Tada on November 23rd. 
The envoys included Mark Kent of the UK, Brendan Rogers of Ireland, Philip Calvert of Canada, Carol Hartog of the Netherlands, and Peter Prugel of Germany. All the envoys expressed concerns over the safety and security of their respective citizens, residents, and tourists visiting Phuket. Among their concerns included what they called extortionate taxi fees, traffic dangers, and recurring issues with jet skis and real estate. The governor thanked the diplomats for their company and assured them that his government is sincere in tackling all the issues within due time. He told them that Phuket has installed CCTV island-wide and hopes to maintain consistent standards across the board. Thirteen arrested in Phuket network that used Facebook to order Gautam. Police Colonel Pinit Sirichai, Deputy Commander of the Phuket Police, revealed that 13 arrests have been made and 41.5 kilograms of the illegal plant Gratom were seized. The suspects included 12 males and one female, he said. Police Colonel Peanut said that two of the suspects were minors. They were nabbed at a courier and delivery company located in Ratsaraz Mu 5, where the plants, wrapped in paper, had been delivered. Police said the suspects had used Facebook to make orders of the plant, which were delivered using the local company. Police said the end users were intending to use the stimulant plant to make the Si Kun Roy Gratom drink, popular among teens and other locals alike. Got two police on raised alert to look after tourist safety. Many tourists were reassured at the sight of police and other security personnel lining up and being assigned patrol duty at key tourist areas in Gatu, namely in and around Batong. The increased security alert was raised in response to the Paris attacks in November. Beach bicycle and tourist service patrols received orders to be on high alert and to ramp up their patrols at key strategic points, namely, number one, the three entrance and exit points to Batong via Gatu, Garon, and Kamala. Number two, the entrances to Soi Bangla, which are already closed off to vehicles as is. Number three, all along Batong Beach, the security units, comprising ten men each, were mandated to rotate patrol duty every two hours to not only look after safety of tourists, but to deter other petty crimes such as theft. Aside from this, Batong Municipality has ensured that it will continue to install bright street lights throughout town as well as CCTV coverage area throughout. <music> Thai Hotels Association Southern President gives tourism reassurances. Dr. Gritsada Tansakun President of the Thai Hotels Association, Southern Chapter, has reassured local tourism operators that the Paris attacks will not have a direct effect on local tourism, mainly since French tourists make up a small proportion of Phuket visitors as it is. Moreover, he said that the average hotel occupancy rate in Phuket in November was at 70%, which comprised mostly Chinese Russian, Indian, Korean, and Middle Eastern tourists, which was credited to successful tourism promotion roadshow campaigns carried out mid-year. His outlook remains positive for the coming months of December and January. Meanwhile, he said that hotel and tourism operators would be meeting and collaborating more closely to monitor the safety and security of tourists throughout the period. Thailand welcomed its 26 millionth tourist in 2015. An entourage of tourism officials assembled at Phuket Airport recently to welcome the kingdom's 26 millionth tourist this year. Ms. Gopkan Watanawarangun, Minister of Tourism and Sport, was joined by Ms. Jutapon Rung Ratna Asa the TAT's Deputy Governor of Marketing for Europe, Africa, Middle East, and the Americas, 
to greet the lucky passenger, a Norwegian tourist named Mr. Tommy Jepson, who flew to Phuket from Oslo for a two-week holiday. Ecstatic, Tommy said he was honored and was awarded two plane tickets good for travel between Norway and Thailand, in addition to a smartphone with a package for free calls. The TAT's target this year is 29 million tourists. Thailand Area 3 Naval Command Vice Commander received by counterpart on Indian ship. At the deep sea port, Rear Admiral Gitipong Rutmakom, Vice Commander of the 3rd Area Naval Command, was among an entourage comprising Thai servicemen who boarded the Inkasari ship of India's Navy to celebrate the conclusion of the 21st Joint Naval Patrol exercise between the two nations, which were conducted between November 12th and 21st and hosted by India this time around. India's Rear Admiral Deepak Kumar, a very high-ranked military figure of India, gave a warm welcome to the Thai servicemen, hand-feeding his Thai counterpart cake in a customary gesture. A band played the national anthems of both countries as the men enjoyed entertainment and a feast of Indian food laid out by the hosts. The Inkasari is a 165 meter long ship that regularly takes part in joint patrol exercises with Thailand. Twenty billion baht mixed-use development launched near airport. On November 14th, Governor Jamrun Tipiapong Tada joined Miss Wang Hu Juan, a Chinese envoy based out of Songkla and who also oversees the Chinese consulate office in Phuket, along with Mr. Li Min, an executive from the Royal Li Estate Company, in formally launching the terminal, a new development near the Phuket airport. The 20 billion baht development will comprise luxurious condos, hotels, offices, retail outlets, a movie theater, and will accommodate transit development and expansion of Phuket anticipated in the future. The event was dubbed Grand Opening the Terminal Phuket, Bright and Luxurious. Li Min, chairman of the Royal Li Estate Company, said the project was launched in anticipation of continued economic growth in Phuket which continues to attract tourists and investors. The project, which will be built on 75 Rai plot of land and will comprise 12 buildings with 2,300 units, as well as a retail outlet spanning 35,000 square meters. Jung Ceylon Thank You Press Party 2015 on November 13th, the company that operates Jung Ceylon Shopping Center hosted a thank you press party for local media. Mr. Prawit Janya Sittigun, an administrator of Phuket Square Company Limited, presided over the event held at the Zscape restaurant at the Uzen Maya Phuket Hotel at Galim Beach. The event was entitled Jung Ceylon Thank You Press Party, Beach Party Chill Out and was a chance for the company to show its appreciation to members of the local press as well as to disseminate new information about the company. The event featured a chilled out and relaxing atmosphere on the beach with the sunset complemented by a mini concert by a singer from Bangkok known as Wan Tanakrit. There was also a lucky draw event to pass out prizes to members of the media who attended. Police boast guns and drugs in crime sweep. The deputy commander of the Region 8 Southern Police revealed that police have seized more than 100 guns and drugs worth more than 80 million baht in recent weeks. Police General Chalermkiet C. Warakan, along with Police Lieutenant General P. Sit P. Sutsak, presided over a press conference to update their progress in a crime sweep campaign held from November 17th to 23rd leading up to the Loigratong holiday which was on November 25th. Many officers and members of the local press were in attendance. 
During the festive period, police had a five-point mandate to prevent crime, marine accidents, dangers from fireworks and fire, drug abuse, and traffic safety. Region 8 Police, which comprises officers in Phuket, Krabi, Panga, Ranong, Chumpon, Nokonsi Tamarat, and Surat Thani, together nabbed 120 gun suspects and a total of 732 rounds of ammunition. The seized guns included one war weapon, 25 rifles, and 93 pistols. Furthermore, police made 638 drug busts, arresting 744 suspects. The seized drugs included 1,425 Yaba pills, 1,285 grams of crystal meth, 1,294 grams of marijuana, and 456 kilograms of gratom, altogether of which was said to be valued at 80 million baht. Moreover, 31 suspects had been arrested on outstanding warrants, while 21 gambling raids were made, netting 61 suspects.